it's me again, Ms. Flair Beliso. We are now going to continue our discussion for Lesson 4 titled Communicative Competence. So this is the last part of the lesson and we will discuss the third aspect which is the social-cultural aspect. The most important aspect of being competent at communication is the social aspect, meaning relating well with people through words and action. Part of growing up for a person is to know what to say and what not to say in a given situation. As the world grows closer, there is an ever-glowing need to become more sensitive to becoming competent in communicating with people from different cultural backgrounds. What may be acceptable in one culture may be impolite or offensive in another culture. On the other hand, what may be polite in one culture may be awkward in other culture. We have here some scenarios and try to answer if we do this or not. Do you prefer to be fed by hand or utensil? Feeding someone food with your hands. In Ethiopia, feeding each other with your hands is a gesture of hospitality. Gursha is a tradition intended to build trust and social bonds between those sharing the food that is considered as an act of friendship and love. If you accidentally drop your food on the ground, would you still eat it? Eating food off the ground. In the Middle East, if, if you drop bread on the ground, you should pick it up, kiss it, and raise it to your forehead before putting it back on your plate. This shows respect for your food and the work that went into making it. Does burping polite or impolite? Burping and slurping at the dinner table. In China and Taiwan, burping is the highest form of flattery. It means you like the food. It is seen as a sign of satisfaction with the meal and is considered a compliment to the host. So don't be surprised if it happens at the dinner table. After eating, do you pay or split the bill? Not offering to split the bill. In France, splitting the bill is deemed unsophisticated. To avoid dirty stairs, you should offer to pay the entire bill or let someone else pay. It's part of French politeness to take turn treating friends and they kind of keep track mentally of who hosted last. Do you give tip after eating? In the US, not tipping is the easiest way to become the least popular person at any restaurant or bar. Equally hated by friends, significant others, servers, and restaurant owners alike. But in Japan, tipping at restaurants is actually considered rude. Superior service is expected without added incentive and is calculated into the bill. You will probably receive some of the best service in the world here, but this is about people doing their job with pride rather than hoping for a tip. Let's talk about those acceptable gestures here in the Philippines and not acceptable in other countries. Smiling at strangers In Russia, you should keep a straight face because smiling is deemed an intimate gesture. Smiling for no obvious reason may crush and suspect you're being false, says Gideon Lickfield, a news editor for Quartz. Russian people are historically distrustful of anyone they don't know but form strong bonds and friendships with people they're familiar with. Unlike here in the Philippines, Filipinos are naturally friendly and you can smile to anyone in here. Tipping Just like in USA, tipping here in the Philippines is okay. Numerous cultures practice tipping to express satisfaction for a certain service. But in Japan and South Korea, Living bills and coins in the tab is highly discouraged. The reason is that Japanese and Korean servers take pride in doing their job well and therefore do not need an incentive to do so. Showing the soles of your feet Just like in other Asian countries, it is a tradition in the Philippines to remove one's footwear before entering the house. But in Arab, Muslim, and other similar cultures, Showing the soles of your feet is disrespectful. It's because in Arabic culture, the feet are often perceived as unclean, especially the soles, explained Ali al Salum of UAE news outfit The National. If you show them to Arabs, they will generally get offended. So remember not to show the soles of your feet if you're in the Middle East. Emptying your plate 
Emptying your plate after meals is encouraged here and in countries like Kenya and Germany. However, in China, a clean plate is considered offensive as it implies that the host didn't serve a meal that's filling enough. In fact, if one wants to compliment a cook, burping out loud is highly recommended in this country. Altering your food When traveling to France, Italy, and Japan, leave your nor liquid seasoning at home. Purring condiments such as soy sauce, fresh sauce, and vinegar, even a bowl full of gravy onto your food is considered as an insult to signature cuisines in these countries. Haggling We love Baclaran and Divisoria, and Filipinos are really good in bargaining or haggling, but going for a bargain or haggling prices of goods will get you in trouble in Norway. To them, there is a reason the price is stated on the tag and negotiating it will only get you odd looks from vendors, according to travel review site TripAdvisor. Loud Open Mouth Laughing In Japan, exposing one's teeth while laughing is considered impolite, owing to a Buddhist belief that exposing one's bone is a filthy act. You can of course laugh and yawn while dining at your newly discovered sushi restaurant. Just don't forget to cover your mouth with your hands. Last 2017, Philippines ranked third among the happiest countries in the world according to Gallup International 41st Annual Global Year End Poll. We like to smile, and obviously, we love to laugh, despite those disasters, calamities, and conflict that we had experienced. Opening a gift in the presence of the giver Filipinos are eager to say, Buksan mo na, whenever they give a present to someone. But Indian and Chinese cultures are averse to this gesture. They want to avoid awkward moments in which one person outgives the other. The act doesn't only take away the elements of surprise, it is also deemed greedy. Bringing home leftovers we are accustomed to handing out or packing leftovers after big gatherings. However, in some Western countries, taking away leftovers is a sophisticated gesture, especially at hotels and restaurants. Putting your hand on someone's head. We Filipinos always says, Mano po! and do the pagmamano as a sign of respect to elders and as a way of requesting blessings from them. In countries like China, Thailand, Japan, and Myanmar, touching someone's head is highly invasive as it is believed that it is where one's spirit is. Culture is a strong part of people's lives. It influences their views, values, humor, hopes, loyalties, and their worries and fears. So when you are working with people and building relationships with them, it helps to have some perspective and understanding of their cultures. So what are the cultures or traditions that are acceptable to a certain country and not in others? Share your knowledge to us by doing the activity in your module. If you have any questions, feel free to ask your teacher in English 003. Again, this is Ms. Flair Belisa and thank you for listening. Happy learning at home with lessons made easy by Olivarian Go Teach. One proud Olivarian.